Hello there my fantastic friends. So today we're going to do some swatches here of my Jane Davenport paints. Now um, I have four watercolor palettes. This one here I made myself. Um, inside my watercolor journal here you can see the swatches for it. These are watercolors um, that I tend to use the most and my most popular colors. Um, so I made this tin out of a mint tin and just put my own um, paints in here. And this was my go-to travel palette for a long time. Really like it. Um, inside my journal here, you can see I have my watercolor pencil palette there too. And here's some of the work I've done with my palette that I just I love it. So when I heard that Jane Davenport was coming out with her own watercolors, like I was really skeptical. Usually artists, when they bring out their own products, it, it doesn't tend to go very well in my experience. They tend to be kind of subpar and you're just like relying on there being a name. And I am very happy to report that I was surprised with these colors and that I was um, wrong about it. <laughs> um, they're great and I'll show you them in a second. Here is a watercolor brush that I love. It's retractable, fits right inside there. And the only thing I don't like about it is sometimes if you press too hard, it retracts itself while you're painting or cleaning it. So, eh, that's all right. So you can see here, I'm gonna start with the neutrals palette. And rather than do square swatches, like you see the faces she did here, those came with it, um, those were wrapped around each color. But rather than do something like that, I decided I'm going to do dolphins because that's my thing. <laughs> so I chose to do a dolphin species called striped dolphins and they have three main color sections on their body which was perfect. So I took all these colors um, and you can see how the palettes are split up into 12s. So I took um, four dolphins per palette and yeah, you, the math is pretty easy. <laughs> So here I am starting with the Neutrals palette, and this color is called Apple, and I started to paint the darker colors first because I wanted the ability to let that dry um, so it didn't like bleed out into the other colors. This color here is Raven. Usually I don't paint with black, I tend to use indigo if I want a dark color, but that's just from my teaching, so maybe I'll start using black more. This color is called Vitamin C, and I did want a glass of orange juice while I painted it. This last color, which is the um, last dark one for this one, is called Cocoa. I mean, I shouldn't say it's the last dark one, there's a few other dark colors, but I tried to pick the darkest ones and then in between the other colors they would go. Y you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so this is Mango. And then the last color on our first dolphin here is called Blueberry. Very fruity dolphin. <laughs> I will go back in later, you'll see, and add some details, um, like some highlights with a white pen and a little bit more at the eyes. Um, that gray color there is a beautiful one called Dove, and I did try to paint a little bit of the belly with Unicorn, which is white. Um, of course, it really didn't show up, and all I saw was the yellow from the water. <laughs> That bright yellow being painted there actually is called sand, um, and it's more brown than it looks in this video. Um, the one underneath it is buff, and on that dolphin there, that color I'm doing right now is called Kiss Kiss, and the underbelly is spice. And the colors just aren't true to form on here, sadly. Um, hopefully they will be later when I do my close-ups. This green dolphin up here is getting the water spirit treatment. <laughs> kind of sounds like it's going to a spa, doesn't it? Next we have Ariel. It's a bit more of a pink compared to like apple, um, but it's nice. That's something that was interesting is that even though some colors here are similar, they are quite different if you laid them um, next to each other. So that was nice. That wasn't just a repeat of the same color over and over. This dolphin here is getting a treatment of sea nymph. You can see that beautiful pattern that striped dolphins have. And really these test swatches don't do them any justice. You should google a striped dolphin and just they're amazing. <laughs> this is sea mist. 
And on the side of that one is a bit of self, I think it's called. The only thing I didn't like about that dolphin there was that the angle was off, so you really couldn't see the final color that I put in later. Uh, this one here is getting a touch of frolicsome, and it looks almost the same on camera, but they're quite a bit different. The belly got some tresses there, and onto the sea nymph we have some enchantress being painted on. With an underbelly of Lorelei. Sea mist there is getting a side um, paint of flirtatious. And we'll get a belly done in alchemy. Now on there you can see that um, alchemy and the palette looks a bit darker but comes off kind of a little more yellow. It's quite pretty. Now we're on to the last palette which is the brights palette. And I love this blue. This is called butterfly and it's kind of like an ultramarine cobalt. It's gorgeous. At the top we have mermaid which is the perfect name for the perfect color. And pretty soon there'll be kind of a really horrible jump cut. My camera stopped working and I had to fix it. But this color here is Frida. There's that cut, I promised. <laughs> um, on that blue dolphin we have a belly of Buzzy and a kind of red side of um, Ladybug. That pink dolphin is getting um, a side paint of fairy tale and a belly paint of best friend. The mermaid dolphin got a tummy of Jiminy and 70s eyeshadow. With our last dolphin there being that beautiful purple one in the middle, um, getting the royal treatment along with ink and mystic. So the pen that I used and I just showed in the, the screen was a sharpie and that's what I used to um, put down my drawings. And I did that because it doesn't run when you get it wet. It's completely waterproof and amazing. So here I was just kind of hastily adding some like highlights and trying to highlight the eyes as well. Um, the paint does dry kind of fast in this journal but still it's watercolor paint so it wasn't a hundred percent. You can see that I did smear um, vitamin C's nose there but you know what I'm okay with that. And so here are the close-ups of the dolphins. Thanks for watching.